in the last couple of months ai agents have taken the center stage when it comes to llm powered applications llama index is one of the leading framework or platform to build llm powered applications so in this video i am going to show you how you can create ai agents by using llama index if you don't know what a llama index is llama index is an open source ai framework that enables users to easily index and query llms like llama gpt or other transformer based models it allows developers to build custom ai applications and interfaces on top of pre-trained llms making it easier to integrate these models into various use cases such as chatbot search engines and content generation tools llama index provides a simple and very efficient way to manage and query the knowledge contained within llms okay so now you know what llama index is i will be using o llama to host my local llms and we will integrate those local llms with this llama index if you don't know what o llama is i already have done heaps of videos where i go into way more detail as how to use o llama and how to install it so this is the o llama's website olama.com which you can visit and check it out so let me take you to my local system where i am running ubuntu 22.04 as you can see on your screen and i have one gpu card of 48 gp of vram which is a 6000 this vm and this gpu card is sponsored very generously by mast compute so if you're looking to rent a gpu on a very attractive prices i will drop the link to their website in video description with a coupon code which is going to give you a 50 percent discount on uh, a 6000 gpu card which i am using which is more than enough for most of the use cases so do visit them out i'm sure you won't be disappointed let's go back to our local system let me clear the screen first up let's get olama installed and then we will also download the llama 3 model with the help of it in order to install o llama all you need to do is to run this command which you can grab from their website which i just showed you so you see o llama is installed while i was talking and then in order to get the llama 3 model with o llama locally just run o llama run llama 3 press enter okay so it means that o llama application is not running so we would need to start that so let me start it now and for starting all you need to do is to just type this command o llama dash serve and it should be good and now we can download the model by just simply running o llama run llama 3 so it is downloading the layers of that model the size is just 4.7 gig for the llama 3 model so let's wait for it to finish it is going to pull this layer and then verify the checksum and then we should be good to go so the model is downloaded and it is running let's exit from olama and then you can just check it by doing l olama list and there you go we have our llama 3 model okay so that's done and dusted olama is running now let's install our llama index stuff for that let me create a virtual environment with conda if you don't know what conda is make sure that you watch one of my videos it is a very handy tool to create virtual environments that keeps everything nice and simple on your um, local system separate from your existing installation so i'm just creating this environment just press y here and that should be done in a sec let's activate this environment we will step into this as you can see in that parenthesis let me clear the screen and now let's install llama index within this virtual environment with o llama integration as you can see on your screen so let's wait for it to get installed should not take too long all of these libraries are done let's clear the screen and now let's launch our python interpreter and we are going to import these libraries which we have just installed libraries are imported and now let's specify our model you see that i have initialized my o llama model which is llama 3 which we have downloaded 
and we have given it to LLM variable. Let's also set the settings for this LLM that is done. And now let's try to define our storage context in Lama index. And this is how we define the storage, storage context. Storage context in Lama index is um, a configuration object that defines how and where the indexed data is stored. Such as you see that I'm just storing it on my local directory. So I have just created a directory storage and Oracle here where I will be storing my data. So let me press enter here. Let's wait for it to create the storage index. You don't take too long. Okay. Now let me tell you what exactly we are trying uh, to do here with our agent. So as I mentioned earlier with Llama index, we are creating an AI agent. AI agent will be performing some task by using our Llama powered Llama 3 model. So what that task is for that task, what I have done is I have taken a document file in PDF. Let me show you. This is a PDF file from Oracle database documentation from 11G. And it's a full PDF file which contains a lot of data about Oracle database. So after taking, so this is a file which I have already downloaded and moved to my local server. And this is the file through which I will be using my AI agent to extract information. For that, first I have created this storage context around that file. And what storage context will contain the index or embedding. So because these models, they cannot read these PDF files. First, we need to convert these, whatever data there is, PDF, text or whatever. We need to convert this data into numerical representations or embeddings. And then we store that those numerical rep representative data or embeddings in an index. And that is what we are doing here. And in order to create the index, we have to create this storage context. And that is why I said earlier that our Llama index is quite modular. You can use any model there. Okay, so for that, I am now reading my PDF file with the name is Oracle Docs.pdf and I am loading that data in this Oracle Docs variable. And depending upon the size of your file, this takes a bit of a time. So let's wait, it is done. And then let's create an index over it. That is that will take few seconds, so let it run. And now let's save that index in our storage context which we defined above. That is done. Let's define a query engine with a similarity top k. So that is done. Now let me explain what exactly similarity top k here is. So this top k parameter is a hyperparameter, but what it does is that you have a index of these numerical representations. Whenever a user sends send some data to query, it will go into that index and will select top three similar results because the value of top k is three. So that is what it is doing here. Pretty simple. And now let's define our a agents tool. All of these AI agents, they work on tool. The tool is a function which we define. On the basis of that tool, they, the AI agent does something. For example, here we are defining a tool that this is an Oracle query engine. It will check that information um, from the Oracle, about Oracle from that document and it is going to return us the result. So we have simply defined that query engine. And now, let's define our agent and we are simply defining that agent from the react agent library from the llama index here you see the first we are passing it query engine then we are passing it the tool and we have defined both query engine tool and llm separately so this is what makes it modular and that's about it let's try to get the response out of this agent so let's wait and you will see that it will it is going to show you its whole thought process behind it. So all I'm doing it, I'm just chatting with this agent that what is Oracle. So Oracle, it, the, it is going to go into that document, which is Oracle Docs. You see, action is Oracle Docs. And the thought of agent is the current language of the user is English. I need to use a tool to help me answer the question. So behind the scene, it is using English. It is browsing through the index and or not is showing us 
its observation that what exactly is Oracle is and this all information it is getting from that index and our document and then it is going to give us the response there you go there is our answer how good is that and you can ask it another question maybe let me ask it a bit more specific question from that document i'm just going to press enter a few times and now i am asking it uh, what backup options are available in oracle database so let's wait for it to come back so you see now it is showing it is checking that oracle docs and it has produced a very very finely um extracted backup policies that you can do this backup you can use our man and all that stuff and i have some oracle background so i can tell you that this answer is perfectly correct there you go so yes according to the oracle docs tool this is the tool we defined with our own file so it has given us this answer now imagine just put in any of your information for example you want to build a legal tool you have your own legal data you can simply point this llama index to your legal documents and use this same code to create your own custom tool to talk with that legal data medical data whatever data you have it is going to read that put in text files you can put csv files whatever you like i will put the whole code which i have used in my blog and i will also drop the link to that blog in video description try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed, then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.